Welcome back. Kyle Penny is here this morning from the East Texas Communities Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Cynthia. Yeah, so a lot of kids are actually in school right now, but they really are starting to think about college juniors and seniors. And yeah, particularly graduating seniors. So mm -hmm. our scholarship uh, applications are open now, typically for graduating seniors. So if you know where you're going, kind of what you're interested in um, studying in school, it's time to start looking for how you're going to pay for that. So the great thing about scholarships through the Communities Foundation and other organizations, scholarships are free money. They're not loans. You don't have to pay back. So uh, it's, it's definitely the type of money you want to be seeking uh, first. Absolutely, and there are so many available for people studying at so many different areas, different grades. I mean, how many do you guys have right. this so year? Right, so at the Communities Foundation, we've got 70 scholarships that are taking applications this year, and some of those have multiple students on the scholarship, so there'll actually be uh, more than 70 students receiving scholarships from that. So it's kind of overwhelming. This is the, I got seven pages of scholarships here, so we've made it a little easier for students this year to figure out which ones of those scholarships they could apply for. So there's a few questions that you can see from our website, etcf.org, go to the scholarship uh, information, uh, answer a few questions, and it will start narrowing down from that pool of 70 scholarships, which ones are appropriate for each student. Yeah, so how does a student apply then? Yeah, so it's real easy, etcf.org, go to the scholarship tab. Uh, there's actually two kind of uh, decision trees that will answer a few questions. So if you're, for example, an arts major, there's some questions you can answer. We've got several folks that have set up scholarships over the years to benefit visual arts or performing arts or things like that uh, but we've got 55 scholarships kind of in our general pool so everybody needs to answer those questions and find out which of those 55 scholarships uh, they should be applying for they run the gamut from $500 $300 scholarship I think is our smallest up to about a $4,000 scholarship so again that's free money and it covers all kinds of academic areas from doctors to geologists to auto mechanics. There are a lot of a lot of great opportunities out there. I'm glad you mentioned the general ones because not every student knows exactly what they're going to major in yet um, as they head into college, but you guys just have all the bases covered. Right, so if you know where you're going or, or kind of what you're interested in, there's probably a scholarship that you could apply for and uh, we want kids to do that right now. There's 55 of those scholarships where the deadline is February 3rd. There's another 14 scholarships that the deadline is not till March the 2nd. But you need to get on there right now and figure out which ones you need to be applying for, which ones hit that early deadline for February 3rd. And you don't have to have the most perfect grades to apply. No, the beauty of the way our scholarships are uh, arranged and established, donors create uh, a lot of different criteria for what they're looking for in a student. So it's not always the highest academics. It may be extracurricular activities or things that you've been involved in or particular majors so it's not always uh, academics it could be financial need there are a number that are need-based people wanting to support students that need that extra financial help to go to school all right Kyle thank you for offering this and for coming on to talk to us about it You're welcome. thanks Cynthia. absolutely coming